Sounds hey, hey guys. So this is a random video, but I just thought it was, you know, an awareness video. I mean, I know Rish Rishi Sunak or whatever his name is, is right now is bollocking up the whole entire system, especially people that are wanting to go on sick, you know, that desperately need it, you know. But, I mean, don't make... Excuse me, don't make a video to take the mick and not expect any hate. You'll get what I mean. Evil. Sorry I look like this, but this is stressing me out. So, I am skin, and I've just had to pay, like, 30-something quid for a new phone case and a new screen protector. 30-something pound for a new phone case and a screen protector? What's it made out of? Gold! I think mine cost about two quid. Altogether, with a screen protector, it would have probably come about four ninety nine on Amazon. You know, you'd be surprised what you can save if you shop about. And I've had to pay for that because I'm disabled. I drop my phone a lot, and I fall with my phone in my hand a lot. The whole reason I have this watch is because I drop my phone a lot when I fall, and um, I drop my phone in the sink. And here's another bright idea. Don't use your phone over the sink. You'd, you'd think some of these people would at least have common sense. And we're not even at the best part yet. The best part are the comments. Now, the fingerprint scanner on my phone won't work with this case on because it's been detached. So I have to spend more money on a new case. And I just want to know, like... Hey Rishi, are these vouchers going to be applicable to phone cases? I mean, I don't know what's going on with the whole voucher thing. Anything that Rishi Sunak said isn't even set in stone yet. So the things he said might not even come to pass. But I've seen like a lot of videos where people are taking digs and digs at them. But I'm doing this video just to spread awareness to make sure you you just be careful with what you say because. With her saying that, you know, £30 for a phone case and dropping it in the sink. People weren't happy with that. Don't use your phone above the sink. Screen protector £2, case 4 You can buy phone case and screen protectors for a lot less than £30. I use my PIP for medication, which is not provided by, the, by my ADHD by the NHS. As they only provide it. For three different conditions. Now, yeah, okay. That would be a useful thing to spend money on. I mean, I've only just applied for PIP today. I don't even know what the process is or... I don't even know how much you get. You know? The whole point of benefits is for essentials. Not phones, etc. Food vouchers and utilities is all that is required. I mean, no, not really. Because in my case, it would be mobility. It's not just me back, it's the nerve damage I've got in my leg as well. That's starting to get really bad. But I wouldn't be able to, like, use crutches or even a normal wheelchair because of the arthritis in my left arm. And the one in, the one in my hands. So it would have to be electric. So, no, nah, I don't agree with that one. Have you ever seen those phone cases with, like, necklaces? You can keep it round your neck whilst using... Yeah, exactly. I mean, even I've got a little pop socket on the back of mine, you know, to have it more comfortable in my hand. Because of my elbow in my hands. But, yeah, then, of course, she does a video about this one. It's nearly 2 a.m., and honestly... I get it. I get why it seems stupid that I'd use my phone above the sink. Well, it kind of is. Like I said, it's one of many times that I dropped my phone and one of many times that I dropped my phone today since I made that video. I mean, you know, it could be a serious condition. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking the mick out of a disability or anything. You know, just simply don't use it above the sink. But that's not the point of this video. The screen protector for £2... Maybe. I don't know, but I know that you can't get a screen protector that's fingerprint enabled for £2. Well, you can. That... No, you can. I've got one on. 
I can actually tell you exactly how much I paid for my screen protector. All I would need to do is log on to Amazon. I'll be back. £2.49. And I got two. So yeah, you, you can get them pretty cheap. Getting a case that is rated for a seven foot drop and can still use a wireless charger and a magnetic. Seven foot drop? How deep's your sink? Where are you standing to drop your phone seven foot? I'm five foot nine. That's just weird, that. Is that what you meant there as well? I know that getting a case that is rated for a seven foot drop. Where are you standing to drop your phone seven foot? Like seriously, I want to know. I'm intrigued now. And can still use a wireless charger and a magnetic phone holder with. You don't need all that? You don't need a wireless charger and a magnetic phone holder? Like that last comment before said, you know, essentials. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna agree with that comment a little bit, cause it's not for luxury, you know, luxuries like this. It's definitely not gonna happen for four pounds in the year of our Lord 2024. By Lord, I mean past the Lord. Just in case you're confused. Past the Lord. Oh, my brain hurts so much. Is it the 28th for me yet? Can I go on vacation yet? But yeah, don't. Tell random people on the internet what to do. Don't make random videos of you trying to take the mick out of something and then it then complain when it backfires. Don't make random videos for the internet for strangers to see. The whole point of you posting this video was to take the pit take the mick, sorry, nearly said it, to take the mick, it backfired, and now you're getting hated on. Welcome to the internet. Do you want me to? Do you want me to show you around? I mean, what do you expect? The point of the video was to take the piss out of Rishi Sunak. Yeah, honestly, yeah. what's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with them? It backfired on you, and you're not happy about it. It was to take the piss out of Rishi Sunak. Honestly, what's wrong with you? Really. Why should we, the taxpayer, pay for your phone? <laughs> like it's like it's like when you when I'm on TikTok. I hate TikTok. I only go on it now and then. I like when I get a message or something, or to upload videos. But when I'm like actually scrolling through TikTok and I see something stupid like this, or a live. I was on a live yesterday and the person was begging for help. Saying that they were homeless, staying in a in a hotel for the night, um they had the PayPal in the a cash app and everything in the bio, just literally live begging. And it, people were saying, sell your phone. If you were desperate, you'd sell your phone. Excuse me, they had a laptop on the bed. Sell the laptop. You know, if you were really desperate, you would. So you've a magnetic phone holder, etc. These are luxuries. Can't you just have a plug and wire? Exactly. Even I can't afford... Well, I probably could afford a magnetic phone holder. But I, I, I've never heard of that before now. And I'm a computer engineer. You seem to think your benefits should pay for such luxuries, which is what a phone is. It's a luxury. Well, I mean, it's 50-50 when it comes to your phone, because you need a phone for communication. You know, to stay in touch with people. So, a phone, I would say, would be essential. You know, especially if, you know, if you're in a dangerous situation, you know, you need a phone to ring for help. Sorry. Struggle breathing there. So yeah, okay. So don't sell the phone. But still. So it's £3.50 on eBay for a screen protector that works with fingerprint ID. And why is it falling from seven foot? Is that that's what I, that's what I'm thinking? 
You throwing it out the window? I fall down the stairs. Come on, it's not rocket scientist. No, really, I mean, come on, seriously? You're going to just sit there and just tell people you need a phone screen protector that can survive a seven foot drop without any explanation. People are going to ask questions about it. So, you know what I mean? Is, is this your first day on TikTok? Or on the internet? Well, go down the stairs on your god. It's not rocket science. I saw god these comments. They're so funny. I mean, honestly, you might just be being a little silly now. Here comes the GoFundMe page. That one killed me nearly. Like, really? I'm surprised. I'm surprised she hasn't got a GoFundMe or something in a bio. I paid for it and it'll hurt my finances, but my phone will be safe. So why are you on here telling people about your phone? Exactly. I mean, what is wrong with some of these people? Like, I mean, at least... I, I don't think these people watch their videos first. You know, before I release a video on YouTube or before I schedule it, I watch it first. Not only do I watch it on my phone, but I also watch it on the big screen to make sure everything's okay. And if it's not, I'll delete it and I'll redo it. So that backfired on you as fast as the Titanic sank. Too soon? Maybe that's too soon. But still. I just thought I would share this. You know. Get it out there. Spread awareness so you guys know to stay away from people like this. You know. You're my subscribers. I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one.